Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming the long awaited how I grew my glutes video and oh my goodness you guys I just posted on Instagram that I'm filming this today or this week and wow many of you guys are like freaking out and are so excited for it. I know that we are all still in quarantine and we really don't have access to the gym so I want you girls to grab a pen and a paper or just be near your phone so you can take screenshots because I want you guys to take down notes because when the gyms open up, I want all of you ladies to go run into the gym and grow your booties. All of the tips that I'm going to give you guys are how I grew my glutes and I just want you guys to remember what may work for me may not work for you. However, all of these tips have helped about like 90% of ladies grow their glutes and all of these tips I compiled from all the research that I've done and I've done myself over the past six years on my journey so and if you don't have a big butt it's okay you are still beautiful you're still amazing just because having big toned glutes is like the thing I guess you can say does not mean you are any less beautiful so just remember that so again the only reason why I'm filming this video is just to share my experience and my tips that I learned along the way and just share with you guys who are curious and do want to grow their glutes. Also, you guys, if you see me looking down at my phone, is because I did write a whole outline. Do you see this? Yeah. I just wanted to make sure that I was not going to miss anything because there's a lot that goes into growing your glutes. So, like I said, if you do have a pen and paper nearby, take down some notes. If not, it's okay. I will be popping up some visuals here and there on the screen so you guys can screenshot. And also, I'm thinking that I might just take this whole outline for this video and put it into a blog post. So, if you guys would like that so you guys can save it on your phone um, and just have it ready on hand at all times, then comment down below. Give a like. I don't know. So the first thing that I want to talk about is diet. I want you to always remember that nutrition is key for any type of body composition goal that you have. Getting enough calories to sustain your muscle growth is so, so important. Because if you are not feeding your muscles the nutrients that it needs to repair and to recover and to grow, you will not see any progress. Whoever said that carbs are bad for you, do not realize how important they are for muscle growth. So yes, ladies, if you want to increase the size of your glutes, you need to increase your carb intake to create mass. But also don't forget, there is such thing as good carbs and bad carbs. So good carbs, for example, are like sweet potatoes and vegetables. Good carbs prolong energy, which then fuels you to work out and also has so much micronutrients that you're basically killing 100 birds with one stone. So I recommend staying with good carbs and stay away from the bad carbs such as potato chips and french fries. So having those good carbs before your workout is amazing because your body will use them as fuel. So the next thing that I wanna talk about in terms of diet is protein. Protein, protein, protein. So I'm not gonna go into the whole like science behind of it, but I will leave links down below to like the whole science of like muscle um, breakdown and growth. But basically when you exercise, it triggers the breakdown of muscle protein. So consuming the right amount of protein after a workout is so vital to muscle growth because it gives your body the amino acids it needs in order to repair and grow new muscle tissue, aka growth. This is why I personally believe that drinking a protein shake like right after you work out at most 30 minutes after is so important. And I know there's like a huge controversy with that, that some people don't believe in the whole, you need to drink your protein shake right after you work out. You know, there has been studies for both sides, but personally I have seen the best results of when I drink my protein shake right after I work out. All right, so the next thing that I wanna talk about for muscle growth is your exercises. Like I said earlier, the reason why I'm talking about exercises now and not at the beginning of this video is because nutrition is key. So for example, you can do all these squats, all these hip thrusts, but if your nutrition is not on point and if you are under eating, for example, you will not see any results. So always focus on your nutrition first and then your actual exercises. All right, so I have watched so many videos on how to grow your glutes from other fitness gurus, I guess you can say, um, but they always fail to mention glute activation. I wanna say about 90% of our day, we are sitting down, unless your job calls for being on your feet all the time. But a lot of people are constantly sitting on their butts 
24 7. so so when you are sitting down so much your glutes can actually weaken over time and underdevelop so you can't just jump into squats or hip thrust and think that you're actually going to work your glutes you need to take some time before your actual workout to warm up and activate those glutes so basically wake those glutes up so when i started actually wanting to grow my glutes um, I would always, of course, go to YouTube or Instagram and Google and research. And back then, no one really talked about glute activation. So I never implemented that in my workouts. And so I would go straight into squats and deadlifts and all those compound movements. And I would always wonder why I wouldn't really feel it in my glutes. But as years went on and the whole like glute activation thing blew up on Instagram and YouTube, I started implementing that into my workouts. And my goodness, you guys. That is when I started even seeing results faster. I would actually start feeling it in my glutes and not in my hamstrings or my quads. So you always want to take that time to warm up and do a good glute activation. I have a whole full warm up and stretching and glute activation video up on my YouTube. I'll leave it in the cards above or down below in the description. So make sure you guys go watch that to get some ideas on how I activate my glutes. So for example, some workouts for glute activations are body weight hip thrusts or body weight kickbacks, fire hydrants, donkey kicks. Those are great glute activation workouts. All right, so for the actual workouts to grow your glutes, um, I know that many people automatically think that squats are the game changer and yes those are really great to implement um, but keep in mind those are compound movements so squats are gonna work out more than one muscle group so they're not gonna just work out your glutes they're gonna work out your hammies and your quads so if you're like me and your quad dominant you do want to try to stay away from those compound movements that implement a lot of your quads or a lot of your hammies so there are exercises that actually just isolate your glutes um, but keep in mind there is no such thing as spot reducing or spot increasing I guess you could say but there are exercises that focus mainly on one muscle group while working just a little bit on the other muscle groups and just like any other muscle group you want to train them in isolation and compounds so compound movements are not bad so some of my favorite compound workouts that do implement your glutes are squats and deadlifts those are gonna work out your glutes trust me but they're also going to work out your quads and your hammies and then some of my favorite glute isolation workouts are obviously the hip thrusts hip thrusts are queen you guys they're the queen of all glute workouts i'm sorry so when you do want to isolate your glutes keep in mind that your glutes are actually made up of three muscle groups so to dumb it down and not use like the whole scientific name um you have your upper middle and lower glutes however i recommend really to focus on your gluteus maximus since it is the biggest muscle you have the potential of more growth there so when you do want to isolate your glutes you can isolate them by your lower glutes um, one day and then the next day you can do your upper glutes so so it's up to you if you really want to double down and isolate specific glute muscles but if you don't want to do that and you just want to isolate like your glutes overall like all of your three muscles at once rather than like your quads or your hammies my biggest tip is to focus on hip hinge movements because those are going to actually target your glutes so for some examples of hip hinge movements that is like a tongue twister for me i don't know why but hip thrusts and kettlebell swings are great examples of those movements so i always get asked how many reps and sets should you do in order to see muscle growth and honestly it's so different for everyone but as long as you are feeling your muscles fatigue and then you're feeling the burn basically that's all that matters that is in my opinion i know other people might say differently but as long as i'm feeling the burn and i'm like shaking at the end of my workout i know that my muscles are work but my number one tip is that as you continue to train your glutes you must 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 increase your weight or your reps all in all in order to get bigger and stronger you must make your muscles work harder than they're used to so if you're just using the same amount of reps and the same amount of weight every single week for the next three months you're not going to see growth and so this is called progressive overload there are studies that show that heavy weights will obviously increase your muscle growth so the next thing that i want to touch on is your workout schedule slash method i guess you could say research shows that training a muscle group two to three times a week is optimal for muscle growth so when i first started wanting to grow my glutes i would work out my legs three days a week and i actually used to get made fun of because of that 
um, but obviously that has made a huge difference. And today, since I'm happy with where my glutes are at, I'm just at two days a week just to maintain it. So over the years, I would constantly switch up my workout schedule. So for example, at the beginning of my journey, I would do um, one heavy compound day, and the next leg day, I would do isolated glute workouts. And then on the third day, I would do like high rep, possibly body weight um, leg workouts and just do that until failure. So that's what I would do for a good while. And then I would just switch it to starting every leg day with a compound movement and then do isolated after and then a burnout after. So really just do whatever that works best for you. But in my opinion, and one of my biggest tips is to always end your workout session with a burnout session. So you just wanna grab some light weight and just do a workout until failure. Because in my opinion, this will push your muscles until its last point and it induces fatigue. So, so in return helps with muscle breakdown and then muscle growth. So for example, I always like to do kettlebell swings as my burnout session at the end of my heavy leg day. Um, so I'll just grab a lightweight kettlebell and just do those until failure, until I literally cannot walk after. <laughs> so my next tip is so, so important and as well. I feel like all of these are, but this is, so important um, but it is to focus on mind to muscle connection so your MMC there are many ways to implement MMC but in my opinion what I find that works best for me is that I like to literally visualize my muscles like breaking and tearing as I do that workout just so that I can direct all my attention to that muscle group so for example when I'm doing hip thrusts and I'm going up and I'm squeezing my glutes I literally visualize just my glutes working and just those muscles breaking um and i find that ever since i started really focusing on mind to muscle connection that is when i saw the best results and the most growth honestly and so for my last tip in terms of exercise is that i recommend to stay away from excessive cardio when i first started doing my fitness journey and really wanting to grow my muscles i stayed away from all cardio literally the only cardio that i would do is my warm-up which is only like five to ten minutes but i stayed away from cardio because um, there have been studies that show that excessive amounts of cardio can actually eat away at your muscles and just to prove it to you guys um, in this picture that's when I was only doing cardio. So obviously you can see that there is no muscle growth there. But when I really started focusing on heavyweight training and stayed away from cardio, this is what happened. So that is just my biggest tip. Other people might disagree, but... All right, so for my last talking point of this video, it is about rest and recovery. And I don't want you guys to click out of this video because you just want to brush this off. The recovery period after your workout is honestly the most important and I know I've said that for all of these but it's so true like you cannot grow your glutes without any of these tips especially rest and recover this is when your muscles are repairing and growing so if you're not giving your body time to heal and recover chances are you will stunt your progress so make sure you're getting at least eight hours of sleep and putting in at least a day of rest before working out your glutes again and so going back to diet this is when you really want to focus on feeding your body of the nutrients that it needs especially during this recovery recovery mode. But before I end this video, I do want to do a quick like takeaway slash recap of everything that we talked about just so you guys remember the most important tips from this. All right, so number one, eat enough calories and protein to fuel and feed your muscles. Number two, focus on progressive overload when it comes to exercises. Increase your reps or weight, preferably weight. Number three, this is optional, but do burnouts to increase fatigue. Number four, Focus on mind to muscle connection and lastly rest but I really do hope this video was very informative for you ladies out there and if you have any other questions feel free to DM me comment down below um, because I'll love to answer them I have been getting a lot of DMs ever since my YouTube has grown a lot and some of my videos have been blowing up lately and people are coming across my Instagram because of it and because of that so many of you have been messaging me about fitness advice and especially on how to grow your glutes so if you have any specific questions I would love to answer it for you because I'm not like a huge influencer or a youtuber so I do see all of your comments I do see all of your DMs so don't be afraid to slide in my DMs I might take a little bit to reply because I am very busy but I will reply so don't worry <laughs> but again as I mentioned in the beginning of this video if you don't have big glutes or rocking hard abs it's absolutely okay because you're beautiful no matter what 
but it's just some girls prefer to try to work out their glutes and see if you can grow your glutes and that is absolutely okay we all have our different body shapes we all have different opinions so as long as we respect each other and love each other and be kind to each other that's all that matters and if you have any other fitness video ideas you guys want me to talk about comment down below and i'll love to do that but until then i'll see you in my next video bye guys